Are you curious about the world of hacking? Do you want to know what it takes to become a skilled hacker? In today's short video, I'm going to share with you the 7 things you need to know as a hacker. From understanding different types of hacking to learning essential tools and techniques, this video will give you a solid foundation in the art of hacking. So, grab your hoodie and get ready to dive into the fascinating world of hacking. The first one is Hacking is the process of illegally accessing computer systems or networks that belong to someone else by taking advantage of their security flaws, errors, or gaps. Hacking can also involve using psychological tricks or deception to manipulate human users into opening harmful software or revealing sensitive information that can be used for malicious purposes. The legality of hacking depends on the hacker's intentions and whether they have the consent of the owner of the device they are hacking. The next is there are three major categories for hacking and hackers. Black hat, white hat, and gray hat. Black hat hackers are the ones who break into computer systems and compromise integrity, confidentiality, and availability of personal or corporate data and or systems to do harm. They do not follow the law or have any ethics. White hat hackers, on the other hand, are the ones who work with companies and organizations and help expose and fix any vulnerabilities in the computer systems and networks. They focus on ethical hacking or hacking for good. Gray hat hackers are somewhere in between. They may hack for personal gain or curiosity, but they do not cause intentional damage or harm. The next is, to become a skilled hacker, you need to have a lot of technical prowess and a passion for constant learning and self-improvement. You need to be curious about everything related to networks and computer systems and keep up with advancements in technology, cybersecurity, and hacking techniques. You also need to practice a lot and positively contribute to the hacker community by developing open source programs, answering questions in hacking forums, etc. The fourth is, you need to know how to use the internet and search engines effectively to gather information. A hacker should be able to find relevant data about their target system, such as its IP address, operating system, open ports, services running, etc. You should also be able to use tools like Nmap, Wireshark, Metasploit, etc., to scan and analyze the target system. The fifth is, you need to know how to use hacking tools and techniques. A hacker should be familiar with various methods of hacking, such as exploiting security vulnerabilities or weaknesses in the target system, brute forcing passwords, cracking encryption, spoofing identities, injecting code, bypassing firewalls, etc. You should also be able to use tools like Burp Suite, SQL Map, John the Ripper, Hydra, etc., to perform these attacks. The sixth is, you need to know how to program. A hacker should be able to write their own scripts or programs to automate tasks, create payloads, exploit vulnerabilities, etc. You should also be able to modify existing code or programs to suit your needs. You should be proficient in coding languages such as Java, Python, C, etc., as well as languages used in web applications like HTML and JavaScript. The last one is, you need to think like a hacker. A hacker should be able to think creatively and analytically, find loopholes and weaknesses in systems and networks, anticipate the actions and reactions of their target and defenders, plan their attacks carefully and strategically, cover their tracks and erase their traces, etc. You should also be able to communicate effectively with other hackers or clients. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about hacking and hackers. If you want to become a hacker yourself, you need to have a lot of technical skills, curiosity, creativity, and ethical awareness. You also need to keep learning and practicing, as hacking is a dynamic and challenging field. Remember to always follow the law and respect the privacy and security of others. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time.